the dirty little secret of the antibody industry is that most antibodies don't work. Now this may sound scandalous to people in the field, but despite what you may hear murmured in hallways, it isn't due to some conspiracy amongst antibody manufacturers to make bad antibodies. This problem really stems from the fact that antibodies are a great success. Antibodies are arguably one of the best tools in biology, and they can do things from determine the molecular weight of a protein to curing cancer. So why the disappointment? Most people don't realize how difficult it is to make an antibody. They expect to buy an off-the-shelf reagent for a few hundred dollars and have that antibody work in a range of applications. Now, people's expectations are set that if you buy a product, it should work. But people don't complain about cars not being able to fly or swim underwater when they purchase a car. But this is often the case with antibodies. People will buy an antibody that was designed to work in a western blot on denatured protein and then have that antibody work in flow cytometry on native folded protein. To compound this problem, antibody designers are often working blind. In many cases, little is known about the protein target structure or its post-translational modifications, key information for when designing an antibody. Instead of off-the-shelf reagents, antibodies should be considered complex devices that require customized attention to have them work all of the time.